Hey people, it's Larry again. I had a couple emails from people saying that they wanted to actually see how the roots penetrate this Metalla media filter or filter media stuff um, to show how well this stuff actually works as a replacement for the Zipgro Tower Media. I'm going to try this with my phone here and see if I can get my camera to focus on this. It's a little tough because I got really bright grow lights so the camera gets confused. Uh, there's one example. I know that's not much to look at but that's just you know some sweet basil that's growing out of one of these towers. You can see the roots there a little bit. I'm going to go over to this tower here and there go the lights. Uh, will it focus? Yes, there it focused. This is some Thai basil and as you can see the roots have uh, went crazy. They've, they're actually trying to crawl out of the tower. Uh, so you can kind of see that actually pretty well. So that the roots do saturate this filter media quite well. Um, we got some parsley here. I just trimmed these plants because I harvested things so I could make a whole bunch of herb infused oil, butter, balsamic vinegar, you name it. I don't know, it might focus there. But the parsley, it, yeah, kind of, you can see it. This camera sucks. But it saturated the filter media as well. Got some cilantro over here, and you might be able to see down in there. I really tried to trim this stuff off so you could get a good view, but my grow lights are a little too bright, I guess. Yeah, well, that's the way it goes. At any rate, just wanted to show people that you know this stuff works uh, every bit as good as the Zipgro Tower Media. And if not a little bit better because there's more void space in it so there's more oxygen that gets through. But the main reason I wanted to show you this is that uh, that root build up there is the very reason why you do not want to rip your roots out of these towers after you've harvested a plant. Because the more roots you have built up in there you know, the more biological surface area you have and the better wicking capabilities the tower develops. Uh, so, you know, if anyone says, well, you gotta clean that stuff out of there, don't believe them. Take my word for it. Don't believe them. You take that out, you're gonna cripple your towers. So, that's about it. Just figured I would film this really quick while I had a chance. I said I harvested things off of these towers, so yeah, they look ratty right now, and that's they should because I trimmed off all the excess growth but just thought I would give everyone a quick view to see that yes the roots do penetrate this stuff and saturate it excellently and this is why you don't ever want to clean your roots out of here if you think you're getting too many roots built up throw a handful of red wiggler composter worms in the top of these towers and they'll chew up anything that's dead and shouldn't be there so that's about it yeah, guess I might have to cut some more basil. <laughs> Take it easy. See you next time around. I'm going to be posting another video here soon in the next uh, week really explaining the construction of these towers because apparently there are some people that are having problems getting this slot uh, cut down the middle of them with they're having the tower collapse on them. And it's really not hard to get around that. So that's all. Bye.